Hey wrestling fans, Dirty D uh, with PWOTV. Uh, happy Sunday to you. Uh, real quick, uh, before I get started, um, and this is going to be my, uh, my TNA uh, little rant here I'm going to have, but before I get started on my rant, I just want to say, hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go subscribe to my channel. Would love to have you. Um, I do rants, reviews, whatever. Uh, I talk wrestling. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to put out some shows, some good shows. I'm getting better. I'm fairly new to this, um, and there are a lot of great pro wrestling channels out there. I will have to say I watch a lot of you guys, and you guys are awesome. I also want to say thank you to the guys who are tuning in and watching my shows. I really appreciate it, um, and I hope I'm getting better for you guys. I hope things are interesting. Anyway, this is my TNA uh, rant. Um, I, I, I was doing some thinking uh, really uh, over this weekend. And, uh, God, there are some things I think that are really wrong with TNA right now that, uh, I don't know, going into this Monday night, uh, new Monday night show, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm very worried. I'm very worried about the flat storylines. I'm, I'm worried about uh, some of the guys uh, Hogan's bringing in, some of his friends. That just, you know, yes, names that might draw, but yet just a little outdated, a little old, and a little stale, to be honest with you. Um, one of my big things right now is uh, Hogan's ring. The whole ring... Um, Hall of Fame uh, storyline. Ah, oh, gosh. Um... Yes, I think the storyline, I will give it to you, unique storyline, but it's in TNA, we're not in WWE, um, and this is just legitimizing WWE a little bit more, you, you know, I, I just feel since you're going into, uh, going to, into some head-to-head -head competition with the, the WWE, you, you just want to separate yourself more from it not not draw yourself I I don't know may uh, there might be some of you out there who disagree with me um, I, I just feel that TNA bring a WWE uh, reference in as the Hall of Fame yes I respect the Hall of Fame I think it's a great thing uh, I hope one day it's opened up to many many more um, um, uh, promotions out there and companies um, and uh, lots of great people that weren't in WWE um, end up in the Hall of Fame, yes. But that being said, um, it is WWE's Hall of Fame and just, you know, the fact that uh, Abyss, Abyss is uh, drawing his power from the Hall of Fame ring of Hogan's, you know, it's it's... I don't know. To me, it's this is a thin line, and um, I, I I don't know. I, I would really like to know what you guys think about it. Um, um, how how do you see this ring angle going? Uh, like I said, to me, I think it's you know it's just right there on the line with you know something you just shouldn't be doing in your company, especially since you're. You're going up against the enemy pretty soon. It just feels like you're just creating this WWE's Hall of Fame situation. It, you know, kind of makes TNA look minor league. I mean, I may, maybe I'm wrong, but I just that's what it feels like, you know. And I I, I don't know. I don't know if where the storyline's going. It just feels like. TNA, you're, you're just moving in the wrong direction. Anyway, um, I, just a little rant. I just wanted to know what you guys think about the whole Hall of Fame ring um, storyline and TNA. If you're following it, it's my little TNA rant. Um, again, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Love to have you. Um, and happy Sunday. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you later. Uh, Dirty D, PWO TV. Peace.